Using the Fractal Design brushes in Twisted Brush Pro Studio, I'm using version 15.71. Within 15.71 uh, there's released a series of uh, brushes in the art set called Collections Fractal Design 01. A uh, number of different brushes for interactively creating fractal uh, images uh, that uh, give you the look of uh, typical fractals. I'm going to select Fractal Design 16 for this example. What I'm also going to do is uh, set up the page to to work a little better with uh, the fractals, at least uh, give it a little better presentation. I'm going to set the page size to a square since many of these brushes are symmetrical. I'm, for this example I'm going to select a width and height of 500 pixels. Also I'm going to set the background color to black so I've set a black color and going to select the fill page option. So now I have the background set to black. I'm going to create a new layer by clicking on the layer mini bar. And I'm going to reselect my brush to get back the original colors. i uh, share a little more about that uh, in a little bit. But the brushes from the Fractal Design Art Set use all four of the currently selected colors. So we have it set up. We have our background black, a square page. We have a layer created. So now we just start drawing and the fractal interactively uh, is generated. You can keep adding on to it if you like or you can clear it, uh, start again. Each time you're doing it you're creating something uh, different based on how you're moving your your cursor. So here we've created, interactively created a, a fractal image. Now I mentioned already how these four colors are used. You could of course select manually. Also added in 15.71 was a series of uh, color brush modifiers which give maybe more frequently used combinations that you may want to try out, especially with this art set. So here are some some of the color combinations which are included. I'll just select another one and give it a try. Notice our colors are now different. Clear that. And while I'm still using the same brush, the colors available because of these four colors here are different. So the actual look is uh, a little different because of those colors. Clear that and just give you an example of another uh, brush or two. I'll select now um, Fractal Design 42 and we can see it's again fractal based where you can see repeating patterns but yet it's still interactive in nature because you're using the cursor to control what's done and of course you can select colors. So that's a you know very brief introduction to to one way to use these brushes. Of course you're not limited to squares or black backgrounds. It was just used for the example here. Have fun!